Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Archie the Cockatiel and I am Stacy. And today we have a few unboxings for you. So last week was Amazon Prime Day, so I did some shopping. And then I also picked up some items from China Prairie, which has bird supplies. So the Amazon Prime haul I'm gonna show you isn't all necessarily bird stuff. I got some items for the dogs of the bacon flock. Jor and Booker are my two dogs. Jor is a Scottish Terrier and Booker is a Collie mix with Border Collie and Coon Hound and a lot of other things because I actually did one of those DNA kits for him. Booker is about eight years old and Jor is about three years old. So I picked up some things for them because I make a lot of videos about getting things for the birds but I haven't really done a video about getting things for the dogs, so I don't want to leave them out. Gotta do a video about them too. So this will be a mixture of bird stuff and dog stuff. And a little item that I got that is for me and Archie. So I hope you enjoy it. Please hit that subscribe button and join our flock and it would be awesome if you could also give us a thumbs up on if you enjoyed the video. So let's get started. Alright, and then in this video, I will include some clips of the dogs and the birds trying some of these new items, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> we have bird feeders on the balcony right over here, so he's watching all the birds right now. There's some barn swallows that have a nest up there, so they fly low and swoop around and get in their nest and there's babies in there right now so they're very active he likes to watch them but he also kind of likes to scare them off sometimes all right so for our china prairie package what we have in here is our invoice with a thank you and just like in the sprouts video there's a couple of advertisements for other products that they sell, like their freeze-dried sprouts, flowers, and microgreens. And then their tea as well. And here's what we got. So we got the Prairie Plus Natural Freeze-Dried Fun Fries that are butternut squash. And these are super cute. I got these because my birds really like to try to eat my french fries. I don't eat french fries anymore. But when I did eat french fries, they were always trying to steal my french fries. So I got them their own. So these are very exciting. It also came with a sample of their crisp made with carrots and beets and it says that they are good for a year. So the butternut squash fries are freeze-dried butternut squash. You get three-fourths of a cup and they're good for a year. Fun fries is a healthy treat for your birds. Butternut squash is rich in important vitamins, minerals, and disease-fighting antioxidants. Fun fries can be broken or crumbled down for smaller birds. They can be mixed in moist food or dry blends. They are a healthy snack you can feel good about offering. And it says it's done in collaboration with Parrots Are Us. And it's also a product of the USA. So I actually got two bags of that because I do anticipate that the birds are going to really like these. So I, it says that they're best by one year but I don't think they'll probably last that long because I anticipate they're really going to like these. So this bag also came with a sample as well. So we got a couple of free samples. I really like the ribbons they put on these products too. It's really cute. So this is the Prairie Plus dreamy spring topper it's a limited edition that you can lightly top your favorite dry or moist food it looks like this so you can see all the ingredients in there 
And basically what this is, you just sprinkle it on top of their food. It has freeze-dried white and golden cauliflower, sunflower, microgreen shoots, pea microgreen shoots, rose petals, corn flowers, black and red raspberry crumbles, green peas, diced pecans, walnuts, oregano, mint, finely ground unsweetened coconut, and many of the items are organic. It's about three-fourths of a cup. It is also good for one year, and it says to store in a cool, dry place. So I thought this would be nice to sprinkle on top of their food, especially because they get the um, Burbs, Herbs for Burbs by Posh City Pets. So I thought this would be nice to mix it up and add a little extra something because this has a lot of the microgreen shoots in it. So I thought this would be cool to add to their food. And it's cool because you can see like the full size like flower petal in there. And I got two bags of that. Both have cute ribbons. Oh, there's another sample. So there's an advertisement for their tea as well as a sample of their tea. We have a lot of avian tea. We drink the avian tea that's by Posh City Pets. And then I guess this company makes their own tea as well. It says it's good for a year. It's Tulsi tea, which contains adaptogenic properties to help relieve stress and is a natural calmative. This would be good for me. <laughs> um, it would also be good for Jackie, who's a feather picker, and BB, who feather picks right around the time of the year that she's laying eggs. So they also have other teas as well that have more antioxidant properties and things like that. So check out their site for their tea. So I'm really excited to sprinkle this on their food. I think they're really going to like it. What do you think? So stay tuned because I'm going to insert some clips of the birds trying the butternut squash fries. Let's open it up right now. What is this? Smells, smells like squash. Oh. Now, saliva has gram-negative bacteria, um, saliva from humans, I mean, so I'm not going to actually put this in my mouth and, like, chew on it. I just pretend to, so he gets curious and wants to try it. <laughs> you going to try it? Let's try a smaller piece. Maybe that one's a little scary because it's big. This is a smaller piece. Maybe less scary. <gasps> How did that taste? <gasps> this is going to be all over my couch, isn't it? Because it's freeze dried, it's very crunchy, so there are crumbs. And I've never actually given them butternut squash before, so this is his first time having squash. He's had zucchini, which is a type of squash, but he's never had butternut squash for sure. <gasps> That's new. <gasps> That's new. Yeah, I would definitely say he likes it so far. All right, so next we have our Amazon Prime package. So let's check it out. All right, so for the dogs, I got them. This first item is by WAG, which I think is an Amazon brand. Yeah, it's actually made by Amazon in Seattle, Washington. 
this is not for you. And these are little waffles. So they're chicken and waffle bites. So the ingredients are chicken, rice, vegetable, glycerin, salt, natural smoke flavor, vinegar, citric acid, preservatives, um, an extract for color. And there's 22% protein. Oh, I'll just show you. It's not the healthiest treat out there with like the preservatives in it and stuff, but it's a treat, so it's not like they get it like a huge meal of this or necessarily get one every day. It's an occasional treat. So I know I really like chicken and waffles. If you've never tried chicken and waffles, you definitely should. So yeah, I just thought this would be kind of a cute flavor. Um, I think it was like three or four dollars for this bag. So, and it's 12 ounces, which isn't bad for that price. So I just thought it would be something new to try and everybody likes waffles. I mean, Archie's had waffles. If you check out our Instagram, he's had waffles before. Oh, should I make a video about making him waffles? Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, I got them this Hills Science Diet bag of treats. These are pretty inexpensive too. They're the Soft Baked Naturals and they are beef and sweet potato. It says it is a natural treat made only from the best ingredients. It has peas, beef, potatoes, glycerin, carrots, sweet potatoes, chicken fat, pork gelatin, natural flavors, and cane molasses. So it doesn't have a huge list of ingredients. It says it's not artificially preserved or flavored. And this is an 8 ounce bag. And I think the dogs will probably like these. They don't get treats super frequently throughout the day. They get a small treat when they go in their crate when I have to go somewhere. Or if I do some kind of like practice training with them. So they don't get treats constantly. So I know some treats aren't exactly the healthiest out there. So I don't want you to think that I feed my dogs a lot of junk food, but I like Hills. That's the brand of dog kibble that they eat. So we've just always had really good experience with Hills. And so since this was on sale, I thought I would pick up a bag and try it. All right, so the next item are these little balls here. And these are dog treat toy balls. And what these do is you can put treats in between these spiky things and also something in the middle. And when they're chewing on it, these little spikes here, they're flexible like silicone. So it's not like a sharp spike when I say spike, but it's gonna like brush their teeth while they're chewing on it. I'm really bad about brushing my dog's teeth. I need to do a better job about it. So I thought these balls could be good for helping them to brush their teeth while keeping them busy and playing with the toy. So I got a two pack. Now Amazon Prime Day, it was a single one that was on sale, but I saw a double pack for technically a little bit cheaper. And so since I have two dogs, if you only get one toy, they're both going to fight over it. So I wanted to get a two pack and I really like the colors, the blue and the green, they're pretty colors. So stay tuned, I'll insert a clip of the dogs playing with these. And then the next thing that I got so that I can do a better job brushing their teeth is I got these little finger toothbrushes. So what you do is you just put the brush on your finger and brush their teeth. And there's a couple different kinds that come in here. So one of them has like silicone on it. Oh, it's like a whole set. So like the silicone teeth on it and then like an actual like brush and you just stick this on your finger and brush their teeth. I think this would be good because I have like a full size like long toothbrush I get when I go to the vet every year. But the brush is like really small compared to this really long handled. It's really hard to use on the dogs because they don't like having their teeth brushed so they like move around and they don't want the toothbrush in their mouth. So this would be easier to control, I feel like. 
when I'm holding like the top of their snout. I can hold the top of their mouth while brushing their teeth rather than trying to do that and hold like this really long handled brush and deal with it. I don't know. This just seems easier. So my, <clears throat> yeah, you don't have teeth to brush though. You don't have teeth to brush. So we're not worried about you. The birds are feeding the babies. <gasps> I don't know if you can hear him. Alright, so yeah, so there's a whole bunch of them in there. It's a whole set. And it's by Boschel. And these are pretty inexpensive. I'll have a link below, but I think these will be really good. And they are BPA free. And it says it's for all pet sizes. So I think this will be really good. And then last but not least is the item that I got for me and Archie. It is a blink camera, but it's a wireless one. So I have a wired blink camera that I set up like when I go out of town or on vacation so I can check in on the birds, but it's kind of annoying because the way the outlets are set up in my living room, the cord stretches all the way across the room as far as it can go onto my um, table with the light on it, which is right across from the cages. And it's just really inconvenient. Um, it means I can't have it set up all the time, even when I'm not on vacation, like just, you know, every day, because the cord is really annoying to have it going all the way across the TV um, to the table with the light on it by the bird cages. So this can either be mounted to the wall, you can get a little stand for it, or you can just sit it up on the shelf. It has a two year battery life. It also has motion detection and two way audio. So I'll be able to hear the birds and I can also talk to them. So this will be nice cause I can leave it up all the time rather than just having a camera set up while I'm on vacation. And maybe I can use the wired one um, to point at the other bird cages and hook it up somewhere more convenient. But this way I have what I'm going to call the Archie cam where I can check in on him at all times. What do you think? It was interesting because when this got delivered, Amazon sent me an email with instructions on how to set it up, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm sure this probably has instructions in it too. Let's open it up and find out. You can also live stream the video or store it in the cloud if you want to save the video. I'm not really worried about saving the video. I just want to be able to check in on them from time to time and make sure everything's okay. So yeah, so I'm not worried about recording clips and actually like keeping them. I just want to be able to check in on them. Alright, so this is what it looks like when I open it. It's about the size I thought it would be. It's a little bit bigger than the one that has the cable. So it has the mounting bracket on the back of it and then you apparently need to sink it with a, something that plugs into the wall. It's a sink module like this. So that part does have like an outlet piece and all that. So something gets plugged in but the camera itself isn't going to have a cord running all the way across the room which will be really nice. So I'm excited to set this up and try it out. Alright, so I ended up ordering some brackets for the Blink cameras. Now even though this says it's for the Blink outdoor system, it is compatible with the indoor system as well. And I ordered it in white so that it would match the camera. And I got that mounted onto the wall. And I set it up so that I can watch Archie in his cage. So I think I'm actually probably going to get some more of these wall mount cameras so I can set them up by the other birds cages as well. I don't want to do it right now because 
it'll get pretty expensive getting multiples of these so maybe i'll put it on my christmas list this year and it's really cool so far so i will insert a clip of what the camera view looks like and archie's reaction to it as well So as you could tell from the clip, Archie definitely suspects a little something with that camera setup. So it is nice that I can play a peekaboo with him through the camera and talk to him. And he definitely knows something is up on the camera because there's a little blue light that lights up when you're actually looking at the camera feed. So he started noticing when that light goes off. So he definitely looks for the camera light to come on and then he'll get real curious about it. So very cute. He's so smart. And it's like the tiniest little blue light that goes off when you're actually looking at the camera feed. It's such a tiny blue light and he picks up on it, which is so interesting. So we've got our fun fries here. Do you want a fun fry? I think he wants to talk. <laughs> Alright, well let's go give some to the other birds and we'll let him hang out for a minute. Baby, you want a fun fry? Instead of holding the fry, she's just breaking pieces of it. Looks like she broke it into a smaller piece so it's easier to hold. Okay, I'm gonna try giving her the fun fry while she's in the cage and see if she goes for it. She just tends to eat new things better if she's eating them while she's in her cage because then she's not quite so focused on playing and chewing on her paper bag and box. And I think she likes it. Don't you, Jackie Bird? Yeah, she likes it. She's the one who would always steal my french fries when I used to eat french fries. She would always want a french fry. Now, friend, real french fries aren't good for your bird because of all the grease and the fat and the salt, so I don't recommend giving your bird actual french fries. So this is definitely a nice alternative. If you happen to have fast food and your bird seems to want a fry, give them one of these instead. Very yummy, isn't it? Such a good girl. I that might still be the same piece of fun fry. She's just taking her time and carrying it around. 
Oh yeah, she likes that, huh? For BB, I break the fries into smaller pieces so they're easier for her to eat. All right, so what I did was I just took, they're very excited. I took some of their kibble and stuck it as far in as I could. And some of them I did three per row, some of them I did two. So, so I think we are ready. Are you guys ready? Can you sit? <gasps> Good boys. Good boys, are you excited? Are you excited? And this is normally about how it goes. Jor gets his own and then he has to go and take bookers. Oh yeah, that should help clean their teeth a bit if you look at how he's chewing on it, trying to get the treats out. This will definitely be a good way to brush their teeth. I think you can put something in the middle hole too, like maybe like peanut butter or a larger treat or something, but I just wanted to try the kibble. And here's Archie, wanting to hang out with me and watch the dogs. He doesn't really like to get close to the dogs though, which is good for safety reasons. I'm gonna put him right back on the coffee table. Jorah has really big teeth for being a smaller dog. That's just how Scottish Terriers are. They may be short dogs, but they have large jaws and they have big teeth. He also needs a haircut. We were supposed to get a haircut for him a couple weeks ago, but our groomer got hurt, so we're waiting for her to come back because I'm very specific about who grooms Jorah because I had a bad experience one time. Just because I'm pretty picky about his Scotty cut. So this isn't just necessarily gonna be good for cleaning their teeth, it'll also keep them busy. I can't really see his teeth chewing on the ball because of his beard. Now the balls are pretty soft rubber, but it doesn't seem to be soft enough that they're tearing them apart and like eating the rubber, which is good because you want them to get the treat and not actually eat the material. There is absolutely no particles coming off of these balls. They're pretty soft, so I kind of thought maybe they would chew off bits of the rubber but there's absolutely no particles coming off of them, so they're definitely strong enough to be chewed. Both of my dogs are medium dogs. They're both about 30 pounds. Technically, they're like 28 pounds, but close enough. They really like them. Well, they really like the food. I don't know, I don't know if they care for the ball because it's hard for them to eat what they want to eat. But, it'll keep them busy, which is nice. You can really see him working his teeth there, which makes me very happy. And Archie is still watching from a distance. And I'm definitely glad that I got them. Once again, you can buy just one. I happened to find a set that was more cost effective. <laughs> sure, go get the green one. 
Ew, they're all wet. <laughs> now, very important when it comes to dog toys and having birds in the same household, you want to make sure that your bird does not chew on a dog toy, especially one like this that's like completely covered in saliva at this point that they've been licking. Because dog saliva, cat saliva, and technically our saliva all has gram negative bacteria, which is toxic to birds. So you definitely want to make sure that something like this is kept out of reach from your birds. Even if it dries up, I still wouldn't let my birds chew on this just because there could be some bacteria left behind. He does not want the green one. Or is the green one empty? Yeah, the green one, Jor, got all the bits out, so that's why he took Booker's. And my dogs are not food, food aggressive, so they won't bite me when I do this. But he does not want to let go. There you go. Ew. You're such a good boy. Booker. Booker. Sit. Sit. Booker. Shake. Good boy. High five. High five. Good boy. That's a good boy. If you would like to see more videos of the dogs, please leave a comment down below. They are definitely members of the bacon flock. Archie really likes the spring topper. I sprinkled it on top of his food in his play stand and he's really been enjoying it. Yeah? You like it? It also, it actually smells really good too. Right? Yeah? Alright, so that's everything I got in my Amazon Prime haul. He really likes this. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And we would love if you would subscribe to our channel and join our flock. Let me know which item in the video was your favorite or if you're going to try any of these items for your pets. And also let me know if you got anything good for your animals on Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. Until then, we will see you next time.